Augustone has been waiting for this for some time now. As you're well aware, there are many gangs operating in Augustone and they create mayhem here for the law-abiding citizens of Augustone. And so putting in an operation such as this, in which the Joint Security Force come in and they clear old build, um, we, are, we are delighted to be for this to happen in Augustown. I mean, residents have been calling from morning. I mean, some of them, for sure, have been saying to me, is this a quick fix? Is this going to be just a curfew that will go away? And I've explained to them, I've urged them to tune in because the Prime Minister was live as they were asking, to just uh, understand that the steps are being taken and that we will be working with the police and to just to make sure that as long as, and I hope the Prime Minister will cooperate, that as long as it's necessary for us to have a proper fix, that we will get the support. There are some things operationally that the security forces will have to do if we are going to make sure that this is not cosmetic. We are hoping that this time we'll get a chance to do the proper yes. cleansing, clearing of the, the old sewer, so to speak, and then we can put the intervention in place. I'm asking those communities that are outside, and this is important, if you see them in your areas, call the police. Do not wait until crime starts in your area because criminal migration is real. Sharing of, of shutters is real. If we're going to fix crime, let's fix it for real. So please, let us not encourage criminality. We can fix this, but we have to do it together. The, the end result that we want of this venture is to be able to police with their consent. So to police with their consent, they must be a part of whatever strategy we would implement mm -hmm. to police their place and bring it back to some calm and tranquility. They have been very receptive. You know, they have been all trying to, They have even said some things that is quite um, eye-opening to me because some of them are saying they were expecting this long time and yes, how we took so true. long. They are also anticipating the build phase because, you know, that brings um, work opportunity for them. It, it brings that ability to enhance your place, make it look better. There's a lot of restructuring that is necessary in this space and it gives us that opportunity. They can begin to work with all the institutions that are here, the Augustown CDC, the churches, uh, Mona Social Services, other civic groups to begin the rebuilding of Augustown. These institutions, uh, they've done a lot of work, but it gets stymied by the violence. So they move forward and then they are interrupted because of the violence. So this will give them an opportunity to cement themselves in the community and really build the community. I'm happy for the social intervention that's going to come with this as well. Uh, Augustown and its environs, which is Hermitage, Goldsmith Villa, um, Bedward Garden. Um, they are communities that are right next door to the university. These communities are the I mean, they're full of, with students, students coming and going, um, students who provide role model for the young children in the community. Every single home within these communities should have students living in there. But they can't because of the violence, because of the gunshots at night. We're happy to be this close to them and work with them. You know what I mean? There's a joint command between the JDF and the JSF and we're operating under that heading.